students. Yesterday, September 22nd, was the first day of fall. And next week in science, we're going to be discussing more about the four seasons in the year. But what I like about fall is that it's cooler than summer and a lot of good treats come out like the Halloween Oreos, caramel apples, and then I like to go outside for a nice walk and rake up the leaves. So I'm super excited about fall and I like to wear sweaters too. But so with that being said, talking about fall, we are going to be reading the book called Out and About at the Apple Orchard. And fun fact, Miss Schultz has not been at the Apple Orchard in Spruce Pine. So hopefully this fall, maybe I can make myself out that way. But I have been to the Blue Ridge Parkway in the fall and it's really nice. And um, I went to school at Wake Forest and we got number one in the best um, um, universities to be in the fall because of the pretty leaves. So yeah, that's a pretty place to go if you want to see the different colored leaves. But yes, I can't wait to read this story to you. Out and about at the apple orchard. We are going on a field trip to an apple orchard. We can't wait. Things to find out. What does an apple farmer do every day? Do you ever find bugs on, on the apples? Do you use machines to pick up the apples? How do you make apple juice? Welcome to Shiny Apple Farm. I'm Mrs. P I'm Mrs. Pippin. My husband and I own this orchard and we'll be showing you around. See all those lovely apples? They're just waiting to be picked. Apple farms grow many different kinds of apples. Some ripen in the summer, others ripen in the fall. When an apple tree, when apple trees are planted, space is left between the trees to move tractors and other equipment. In springtime, apple trees grow flowers. Honeybees visit the flowers. The bees carry pollen from flower to flower and from tree to tree. The pollen helps a flower change into fruit. An apple blossom may be visited by bees 50 times, and one tree can have as many as 10,000 blossoms. Not every blossom turns into a fruit. Now that is a lot of blossoms. Trees need food, water, and sunlight to grow. Early in the summer, we add composite to the soil to make the tree strong. Later in the summer, if there's not enough rain, we water the trees. Composite is plant food made from grass and weed clippings, apple scrapes, and other bits of plants. We prune or cut out the dead and broken branches a few times each year. This lets in more sunlight. All summer, we work to protect the, the orchard from pests and diseases. Pets, pests are anything that harms the trees or apples, such as animals and insects. We sometimes spray apple trees with chemicals to stop disease and get rid of harmful insects, but we prefer not to use chemicals. We bring in helpful insects and hang insect traps and bars of soap and nets to help control the pests. Some apple tree pests are apple maggots, woolly apple um, worms, and white apple leafhoppers. Some helpful insects are ladybugs and lacewings. In late August, apples, that was, August was last month, guys. This month is September, and next month is going to be October. 
In late August, apples begin to ripen. From then on, we pick until late October, which is next month. Now it's your turn to pick an apple. Put your hand around the apple and twist it. Tie the apple upside down. The stem should snap off the branch. Apples bruise easily. That's why we pick them by hand. That's a good fact. Apples high in the trees have to be picked using ladders. How do you know if an apple is ripe? Most apples ripen from green to red. Ripe apples should be firm, crisp, and juicy. So they shouldn't be spongy. They should be filled pretty hard. And when you take a bite, they should be really juicy and sweet and delicious. Yeah, I love to have apples with peanut butter. It's so good. We check each apple after it's been picked. We, re we remove those that are bruised, hurt by pests, or not in the right shape. Some apples are packed into bags for sale. The rest we have to put into cold storage. Apples may be stored up for up to six months. We take the apples that are not in the right shape and we press out the juice to make apple cider. I love apple cider. We sell some of our apples to other companies to make apple juice. Both cider and juice are squeezed from apples and they are not the same. Cider has teeny bits of apple in it and it looks cloudy while apple juice is clear. We have 30 kinds of apples growing here. So there are plenty of new apples for you to try each time you visit. You can try lots of products made from apples too. We have apple sauce, apple fritters, apple pie, and more. America's favorite apple is the Red Delicious. Other favorite apples are the Golden Delicious, Granny Smith, Fuji, Yeah, I would say Red Delicious is my favorite. Thanks for visiting us at Shiny Apple Farm. I hope to see you guys soon. Yeah, this makes me want to go to the apple orchard. And that is the end of our read aloud, and I hope you guys enjoy it and eat an apple. <laughs>